I'm going to show you guys how to create your own balloon garland mock-up for a digital presentation for your client, for yourself, for your own vendors or whatever the case is. So what I'm going to be doing is using my balloon garland mock-up pack that's available on my website. It's linked down below. This is going to show you how to use one of these or two of these or a few of them and turn it into a whole room or um, a balloon uh, event mock-up for using your balloons as well as other items too that you would be getting on your own. So I'm going to go down to the page, my last page, which would say your design page, which is design page nine. You're actually going to see this setup on this page, page 10. This is going to be where the mock-up example is, which is this design that we're doing right now. So this page is going to be left blank and empty for you. You're going to go to page nine and you're going to make your own design and, and you know, replicate this one or do something else for your own, for your own concept. So right now I'm going to design on page 10. And this is, like I said, what you're going to see on page 10. So in Canva, I'm in Canva. I'm going, I have Canva pro. It's not necessary. However, I do recommend it. There is a link down below. I definitely do recommend getting Canva Pro. You have much more leeway. You can remove the background instantly on the app as opposed to doing an extra step of remove.bg, which I also have linked in this video if you need to check that out. So I'm going to go to elements and I'm going to search floor. Another thing about Canva Pro is you do have more options. Like these are free options. I'm going to use Canva Pro options because I like these better. They do have better options. So the ones that are crowns, these are the ones I'm going to use. Again, you could use the free ones if you want to. Like you could use this floor and then cut out, you know, the free, you know, that space. Excuse me. Um, you know, because of this, I'm just going to do that actually. I'm just going to do that to show the freeway if you don't want to get Canva Pro, but I highly do suggest it. It has much more um, options for pictures and stuff, not just the floor. Like I probably would use this one um, because the background is white already. Actually, I lied. I'm sorry. I'm going to use a Canva Pro option. So I'm going to make it bigger. And then I'm going to send this right to the back. I'm going to make sure this is attached as the background and I'm going to leave this as is now. So I am going to do the balloon arrangement that I already have this balloon arrangement from page eight. I'm going to copy that and I'm going to bring that down to my page that I'm working my workspace. I'm going to make it bigger. And then I do have a background that I'm going to use a backdrop that I'm going to use. Um, and I'm going to click it in. I already dragged it in and it is this cute little backdrop that I already created on my website for custom backdrops and designs and floor decals, so on and so forth. This is one example. So I'm going to change these colors. I'm going to bring this forward. I'm going to change these colors. Um, now, of course, you know, this one says he's four and my balloon arrangement says he's one, but I'm going to keep it um, and leave it as is. So I am going to change these balloons into a blue color instead. So I'm going to ungroup this option that I was already working on and change all the blacks balloons to blue balloons. Now, the balloons I am using this for this balloon garland pack balloons do not come with this pack unless you buy the full bundle. The balloons that I am using are going to be in the bundle PNG pack, which are all these balloons of all different colors. And you can just drag and drop and use these balloons for your design. You can also create your own balloons by just adding, you know, putting in a picture, um, or putting in, you know, a color or something, a picture of anything, um, and then just dragging it into the space. You can still use the template, but you would have to make your own balloons. Um, so if you do have these balloons already purchased, you could just drag them in and use them yourself. I am going to use the um, balloons that I already dragged in and I'm going to change the black ones in to red. You will see that you might have to, I'm going to zoom in, you will see that you might have to change up a little um, spacing just because of how the balloons might 
uh, be different sizes for different, you know, options or whatever the case is. So just do be aware of that. So I'm just dragging in my blue balloons. Oops. Yeah. My blue balloons into my black spaces. And just changing anything I do need to change. So same. I'm just going to change one of these here to blue. And I'm going to leave that as is. So I like to just group everything together. It just makes it easier to move when I'm working. So now I have my backdrop. Now I'm going to add an arch wall. So I'm going to go to elements and I'm going to go to arch. I'm going to go to arch frame. I'm sorry, arch frame. So these are the arch frames. The I mean, arch, what it comes up when you do arch frames. I'm going to go right at the bottom where it says frame. And I'm going to choose one that looks more like an arch wall that's just solid. I think this one does well. So I want to use this one. Now I also do have a, a background backdrop um, Canva template that has other templates that you can use. But you can use the ones that they have because they have pretty good ones that do resemble, you know, different backdrops and stuff that are already in the industry now. So I'm going to play with this spacing and I'm gonna show you how to add some cool stuff to it. Perfect. So now we're going to add whatever you're going to add into your design. Um, I'm going to add checkerboard for one of them. So you can try to find something here on Canva. Uh oh, I meant to do elements. Checkerboard. I'm going to search it. Now, if you don't have, see, they do have obviously options. If you don't have Canva Pro, you can just use whatever you're using from a designer. This one's a free one and it lets you change the color, which is good. Um, but let's see, does it let you go bring it in here? No, because it's not an image. Um, so you will have to, you know, you design and how, in how your space was going to be. I'm going to use this Canva Pro one, which is a free item, which is not letting me click it in. Okay, I see. Give me one second photos. It has to be a photo. So I'm going in to photos instead. And that, now you can see it will let you um, use it. I think actually it might look cooler with this. Oops. This one being checkerboard. And maybe this one can be something else. Maybe just a racetrack. Let's see racetrack mm. we can do that we can do like a racetrack here and then just add his name maybe in like a sign if you were doing like an acrylic sign or um you know something of that sort a neon sign so i'm gonna add some type of of a racetrack in these pictures. I think the first one is the best one with the black. This one I like. Okay. I'm going to leave this one. Oops, I keep clicking that. I'm going to leave that one. And then I'm going to put his name. I'm going to go to text. And once you go to text, they have pre-made designs. I'm just going to click one already. Um, I don't need three of them, so I'm going to erase and say, um, I should put, I don't know if I should put the fourth birthday or the first, but I'm going to say, um, I'm just going to write his name. I'm going to change this font to something different. Um, Let's see if they have, I like to search some of the fonts and see if they have anything like that. Um, sports. 
So a good sports font. So again, there's going to be fonts that are free and fonts that aren't free depending on, um, you know, what version you have. I'm going to make this white and then I'm going to go to Google and I'm going to just get a NASCAR symbol PNG. I want to grab this, these lines and bring them on. Oops, I forget. You can't um, just drag from the internet if you're on your computer. So bring it to your computer first, your desktop, and then you can drag it into Canva. So I'm doing that. I'm just going to bring, I'm going to erase. So I couldn't erase all of it because it's at a weird space. So I'm going to go to edit image. I'm going to erase the background. It's probably not going to know what to erase yet. <laughs> But, okay, I'm going to go to restore. No, I'm going to go to erase and, oops, and just erase this NASCAR part. And click done. And now I can do that. Oops. Let me zoom in. Make it easier. Sometimes it does that, which is annoying. Okay, I'm going to move this stuff over and make it a little bit smaller actually. Bring this up. So now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a balloon garland. Um, one that I think I want to do one kind of through here. So one this way and also one over this way. So you can choose, obviously, you can rearrange your balloons. I'm going to grab this one definitely. So I'm going to grab this down here. And I'm going to rearrange those balloons to fit what I'm trying to do. So I want it to be, I don't want his name to show, I don't want his name to be covered obviously. So I'm thinking I'm gonna have to twist it a little bit or I'm gonna have to move some balloons, um, which is fine obviously. So now the best thing to do is to change the color of the balloons first because you have to ungroup everything. It's just so much easier to ungroup everything with the balloons being as a cluster. So I'm going to ungroup it and then I'm going to change the colors that I want to change too. So I want to match this red and blue, maybe yellow I can even add. Um and black as well. So I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to change. I'm going to leave all the blacks as black. I'm going to change all the golds to red. So I'm going to just do that now. I'm just changing my reds and I'm literally just dragging my balloons that I bought that well, I didn't buy them, but the ones that I sell on my pack um, that you can buy on the link down below.
or you can make your own balloons like I said I'm just changing all my gold ones to red and I'm going to change my chrome ones to blue I also do have a different red and I like to do that too I like to add like different like different red versions or whatever the case is just to give it a little bit more depth um but this one I already I don't want to mix all of them the other ones you can see I did that on some of the balloons and some other options it sometimes just add more depth sometimes you should also play with um the arrangement because the shadows are all different so if you just rotate it a little bit the shadow will be different than the one the other balloon you just laid but for most of the time most of the balloons that are in this pack are already like rotated for different versions um so now we're gonna add some blue so I have blue here and I'm gonna add those to uh, should I so I want to kind of keep both of the colors that's here the silver color as well as the black so I'm kind of just kind of uh, mix them up I'm gonna add some blues different places um, in between the re replacing the black and the silvers um, just because like I said I do want both of the let me zoom in both of the black and silver still there. So I'm kind of just adding some more blues, but keeping, I'm just adding them randomly to replace both equally the black and silver that I have. Um, Cause I do like the blue with all the other colors. So here, there's too much black here, so I'm gonna lighten it up or bring blue, some blue in. Same here, I'm gonna add some blue on these spaces. And now I also said I wanted to add some yellow and I do think I do now. So I'm gonna add um, little touches of yellow. I think I'm just gonna, what I'm gonna do actually, I'm gonna go up onto one of my pages to this balloon garland and cluster page, which is page six. I'm gonna grab one of these balloon little clusters, these mini ones, and I'm gonna make these yellow and kind of do a wrap around. Now, these ones are a pain, not really, but like they're a pain when you don't group them. So make sure you do group them. So you do wanna group them um, and then just have at it. Keep changing your balloons. I'm gonna zo zoom in really closely. So as you can see, like, the different golds I like to add just a little touch of random different golds so do that throughout with the yellow balloons and I'm literally just dragging and dropping you might, like I said, have to rotate different balloons or um, play with the sizing of other balloons, so on and so forth. For now, these ones are kind of perfect. So now I'm not even going in any rhyme or rhythm. I'm just kind of dragging and <laughs> wherever it lands. So since these are so little, there's so many of them. I'm sure these are probably more of a pain to make than they are to change digitally. So um, there's so many balloons and they're so tiny. You definitely want to make sure that these are grouped when you're when you're after you finish these. Do not put do not try to change these on the balloon garland. Separate it, move it away. You know, change the colors and then bring it back because ugh, you do not want to get caught with these little balloons all over the place you might as well just start all over so now that I have all the balloons filled into this yellow I'm going to group them and I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna add it on 
Oh, well, actually, now I think about it, like I, I was doing, so I want these balloons to come under here and then the other ones to go over. So I'm going to grab some of these here. I'm going to grab these and I'm going to paste them here. Oops. Wait, where'd it go? Okay. I'm going to group these and I'm going to put them here. Probably gonna add, let me just add one more balloon like right here. The blue one. Okay. So I'm gonna group these. I'm gonna add these right here. And I want those in the front. I want them in front of the backdrop, but behind the arch. So I'm going to bring the art. I'm going to send this backward to behind the arch. But like I said, and still in front of the backdrop. I could put another balloon here, but I'm going to worry about that after. Um, so now I have those like that, and now I'm going to grab the other half, and I'm going to group those and paste those, group those in the back, and then they should be going this way. So I think I'm going to move this. They should be going here. So I want them kind of so now we have perfect so now we have the balloons going through the arch going through here um, we want this balloon we're gonna put this here Yeah, we're going to put it here. And then I'm going to grab those little clusters that I just got and just put them through both of these. I want to put it through here. Oops. Now, you know what? That might be a pain to do, so I'm not going to put them on that little one. I'm going to put them on here. Just one here. Right around there. And then just one more at the top. And of course you can like go in and delete some if they're not working for, you know, what you want to show. Like I'm going to go in and delete this one, maybe delete this one, this one, uh, maybe move this one down a little bit. this oops okay So now I have my little space. Now I'm going to just add a little bit of yellow to these balloons. And one more thing I am going to do, I'm going to just a little tad bit of yellow maybe on these. Just 
to bring in some yellow, so. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. So I wanna grab this um, checkerboard balloon. It's like an orb thing. I don't know if that's what they're called, but it's a full circle. I think that's what it is. It's a full circle balloon. So I wanna play with that and add that somewhere on the design. So I'm gonna add it maybe here and maybe another one over here. Put it behind the yellow one. And another one back here. And one more right over here. Um, so that is perfect. I definitely use two different red balloons, but it's fine. Um, you can add whatever you'd like to on these mock-ups, but you can even add more. I have, um, one of these like hanging ones. You can use these as well with, um, you know, these tassels, which are in my balloon accessory pack. Um, which have different types of tassels and, or you can make your own by using, um, remove.bg or Canva pro and it's linked in the videos that I mentioned before. So this is how you would show your client, you know, their event or a mock-up of it or a digital thing for you. You can, you literally have so many options. I'm going to make one more balloon just to fill this empty space. Sorry, it's bothering me. <laughs> So I'm going to um, keep this. This is going to stay just like this. And um, you then now have your digital mock-up. So one other thing um, you can do is create maybe a uh, prop. If you would like to do a car prop, let's say you have a NASCAR PNG. Oh, um, yeah, a PNG like a car and you want to use that if you have the actual PNG image, you can put that in your design and, you know, get more of the concept of it, how it would be as well. Um, send it back. No, not that much back. Turn it forward. Okay, perfect. Let me get my balloon. I'll leave it alone. It's fine. So let's say we have a car coming out here. Then you have now a little prop. It can obviously just be a prop or you can add another car, literally whatever you'd like to do. So here goes how to play with these balloon garland set. And like I said, the options are literally endless. So thank you so much. Happy designing.